What's good everybody, it's Kush Beaver here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we have our Season 2 intro, which you can see the video playing for up on your screen now. In a minute we're going to be taking a look at some of the Battle Pass prizes, which this time around include a lot of winter themed items. You've got a couple Aurora Borealis skin weapon camos similar to that one, in addition to the Arctic Freeze skins that you see here and that being the final prize of this season's battle pass. Now we're also going to be taking a look at the new zombie mode that just came out. We'll be getting into one of my gameplays for zombies here in a moment, but as you can see here, these are some of the guns that I mentioned that are going to be prizes for the battle pass this season. But um, we're going to go ahead and jump into some zombies now. The way they set it up is that there's three different modes. The first one is normal raid where you can buy weapons, unlock new areas, and you can also purchase perks. The second one gives you even more zombies and a more powerful boss battle similar to the one on the first. And then finally there's a survival mode which gives you an unlimited number of rounds. You basically gotta survive as long as you can and you still get access to all the same weapons, abilities, and perks that you get with the first two modes. That one's probably my favorite but it's definitely one that you want to set some time aside for. Now they stayed pretty true to the console format with this. You can purchase weapons off the walls. There's different perks and abilities that you can buy, such as Deadshot, Daiquiri, Quick Revive. And there's another one that you can get which kind of stuns the zombies around you when you reload, but I can't remember the name of that one off the top. Um, you can get access to new areas. There's tons of guns that you can purchase. One of my favorites is the AK-47. That thing does a lot of damage and is probably one of the better guns to get on zombies that you can just purchase outright off one of the walls. Now one thing that I was impressed and pleased to see was that the ray gun is available. So you are able to get the ray gun out of the mystery box like you could on console. I was lucky enough to get it during this match so make sure you stay tuned till the end when that big boss battle rolls around so that you can check out the ray gun action on mobile. Now they do have a weird reward system where you get these shards that you can use to assemble different weapon camos. Now I'm personally not a big fan of it. It's only something that you can use three times a day and it comes from a gumball machine after your first three matches on each different type of mode. I wish it was something that you were able to play more to have a better chance at getting. But like most things on Call of Duty Mobile, it's just a matter of luck. So while I'm hoping I have time to get and collect all those skins, I highly doubt it's going to be possible to do. Some of them require 100 shards and I don't know how long they're actually going to be keeping those rewards up there before putting different ones. So we'll see how that goes. I'll update you guys on those in future videos. But you'll be able to see how that system works at the end of the video. So I'll go ahead and let you guys finish watching the rest of this gameplay. See what you guys think about the zombies for Call of Duty Mobile. Definitely feel free to leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I know I like it. Zombies was always one of my favorite modes. So I was super happy to see it come to mobile. Now one thing I was surprised to see on mobile that was on the console version was the Hellhounds. Those always provided a challenge for me, but it was nice to see them add those. I was kind of hoping that this wasn't going to be something that was super easy that you could just play right through and it's safe to say that the Hellhounds added a new challenge to it. 
and also brought me back to my Black Ops days, of course, which was again one of my favorite games. So it was at this point I decided to go for the mystery box, and as I mentioned earlier in the game, I ended up getting lucky, finally got the ray gun. That would be the first time I've gotten the ray gun on mobile. Now the bullets look a little bit strange for the ray gun on mobile, but overall it works much like it did on console. I've personally found it's a little bit easier if you shoot at the feet of the zombies with the ray gun as opposed to right at them. Due to the movement speed, it's a little bit harder to hit them directly on, but it's not too hard to just hit around them. So, that's the ray gun. That definitely came in handy for the big boss battle that's coming up here in a moment. You guys will be able to see that shortly. So after the 8th round, you get about a minute to run around the map, pick up upgrades, perks, anything you're going to want for the final boss battle. Here I was pretty stacked up on what I wanted. I had my AK-47 and the ray gun, and obviously the ray gun's one of the best guns, so that's definitely not one I wanted to get rid of. But you go through this little time portal looking thing, and it takes you to the playing field where the boss is. And from there you get to fight the big boss battle, which is the end of the raid mode on zombies.
So this screen here shows you a little bit more about how the shards work. As I mentioned, when all shards have been collected, you can craft the corresponding weapons, character, or items that you need to get the shards for. Um, I've only personally seen the guns. I haven't seen any characters yet. So either that's something I haven't seen yet or that's something that'll be coming soon. Now coming up here in a second is going to be the gumball machine. This is where you get the shards. This determines what items you get for your three draws. You get to do that three times for each game mode and then that's it. After those three you don't get anything for playing the matches. That's really the only thing that I didn't personally like about it. At this time, I want to thank you all for tuning in and checking out this video. Make sure if you liked it that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads.